Oh, dear. It's so claustrophobic in here. Look at these neck curtains. So that the neighbours can't look in. <laughs> what is there to look at in here? <laughs> what is there to look at? Nothing. <laughs> no orgies ever take place in here. Well, perhaps once a week Mrs Thing from next door might pop in and have a little look around, but I'm sure nothing ever develops. Yeah, you could look through that window for a whole year and not see anything, apart from a little bit of dusting, some tidying up, afternoon tea, and somebody listening to the weather forecast. <laughs> no, this is where it all happens. Oh, God, yes, definitely. This is where the excitement is. <laughs> look at that. Cherry wine stain. Cherry wine <laughs> on the loose cover which is a loose cover for the loose cover for the loose cover. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath that, there's an armchair. <laughs> oh, a hearth rug for the carpet. I'm surprised there isn't a rug for the hearth rug for the carpet. <laughs> Still, nice, warm, cosy fire. Can't beat a nice, warm, cosy fire, can you? This one's plastic. <laughs> Still the cleaner, aren't they? <laughs> What's it called? A Johnson Jolly Log. Gathering plastic jolly logs. The under 16s, 80 yards hurdles. <laughs> Critchell and Noble Athletics Club. Oh, Deputy Vice Chairman, 1933. Very exciting. Here's to you, George. Bottoms up, George. Tim, all the best. Jimmy and Groper Harris. <laughs> Groper Harris. I remember her very well. <laughs> From the lads in accounts. <laughs> oh, Jim. Sour grapes upset me in an apple cart. That's true, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> By Joe, that's what life's all about. Must write that down. <laughs> oh, what an atmosphere. Who could live in an atmosphere like this? There's a bloody world outside with people in it. No, I've got to leave. I've got to get out. There's no doubt about it. God, I could do with a drink. I wonder if she's got any drink anywhere. Must be. Even if that's full of sherry I bought her myself, it must be somewhere. Probably still wrapped up. I wonder where it is. Not there. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Behind the biscuit barrel. By the paper clips. Well, give me a minute, Barney. Right. Oh, dear. Everything's wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a wedding present. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I shall have to get out of here. Bad for me. Well, it's bad for her, really. I mean, I've got no freedom. I should never have left London, really. I mean, I'm not happy here. She might be happy here, but I mean, I'm not. I mean, she's old, you see. Well, she's not old, but I mean... <laughs> she's fairly old, but I mean, she's not old. <laughs> I mean, if I stayed here till she, uh... Well, it might be 30 years. <laughs> I'd be 60. I won't be living forever, Ron. I won't be living forever. She will, she will. <laughs> no, I must do it now. Now, or oh, the other thing, must make a clean sweep. That's it, that's it. Leave the insurance. Find a new job with new life, new vigor, new... Oh, God, she's coming. Cocoa, it's nice and hot now. Drink it before it gets cold. You left it last night. I made it with milk. Would you like a cheese sandwich? No, thank you, Mother. It's no trouble. Cheese and pickle, you'd like that. I'm not hungry, Mother. You had an early tea. I know. I was there. It's just that I don't think you're, <laughs> you're not eating enough for lunch, dear. Why don't you come home for your lunch like you used to? I will make you a cheese sandwich. Or would you prefer ham? I've got a nice piece of ham. You'd like that. Would you like it with mustard? No, I'll just have my cocoa. If or you without mustard. Mm. Or pickle. Uh, cheese and pickle, tomato and lettuce. I've got some lettuce. No, no, I don't want a sandwich, Mother. You'll be hungry later. Quite possibly. Particularly if I don't have the ham with the mustard or the cheese with the pickle or the lettuce. <laughs> or the Perhaps I prefer a nice piece of nothing at all. That would be nice. Don't be silly, dear. Now, which will it be, cheese or ham? Nothing, Mother. It's no trouble. It is, it is. Cheese and pickle. Yes, yes. I knew you were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she'll eventually drive me absolutely mad. <laughs> Going mad. Oh, very well, ham, then. <laughs> I didn't say anything about ham, did I? Oh, dear. 
It's not just this sandwich business, all this, all the standard of the food generally, even. I mean, it's just this sort of claustrophobic atmosphere that gets me there. <laughs> Your hair's a bit long, dear. You're not going out again, are you, dear? Whatever happened to that nice Janet Summers? She's an ugly cow, mother. <laughs> you used to like her, I never did. Have you got a vest on? Have you got a vest on? You know what I always say? Ne'er cast a clout. That's what I always say. She does, she does. <laughs> what did she used to say to you, Mr. Tweet? Oh, sorry. You've been dead 10 years, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're well out of it, mate. Well out of it. <laughs> By Jove. What did she used to say to you? Would you like some seed or perhaps a nice bit of cuttlefish with chutney or pickle or lettuce and tomato? <laughs> I don't want anything, you silly old bag. Who's a silly old bag? Who's a silly old bag? Have you got the television on, dear? <laughs> So what's, yeah, what? What yeah. is it? Oh, it's 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 uh, yes, it is. It's Jack Cousteau underwater. Oh, I like him. Yes, he's just gone into a dark cave after an octopus. <laughs> Fill the screen with ink. It's wonderful photography, isn't it? Mm. Yes, it is, yes. <laughs> it's an action replay, actually, so it's rather boring. After. Oh. There we are. I've made half a round of cheese and half a round of ham. Oh, just what I wanted. Now, Ronnie dear, I want to talk to you about something. Carry on, carry on. Yeah. I think there's something in here, actually. Sorry. I just want to ask you something. Oh, yes, what is it? I want to ask you about that girl. About that girl? What girl? Where? You know who I mean. Can you, uh, can you bring yourself to speak her name? You know who I mean. You went with her last night. I went with her? Went with her? Oh, come on, Mother. There have been so many. There's Jenny, Jill, Jackie, Barbara, the Bedsworth twins. That Freeman woman. <laughs> She's not nice. Not nice? <laughs> you can say that again. Way! <laughs> She's nothing but a... Come on, you can say it. A tart. Oh, <gasps> language naughty! <not. laughs> oh, smacky handy. I had to say it. It's true, common knowledge. Look, we were at the cinema together, separate seats, feet on the ground all the time. Tart? What do you mean, tart? Well, you remember that business with Mr. Hollingshead and him with an invalid wife, too? Oh, really? She's not your type, dear. Why you can't go out with that nice Janet Summers, I'll never know. You went to school together. She's fat. Her family's very well-to-do now, what with the off license. Bad breath. Oh, and you have so much in common. She's huge. Oh, she's a nice girl. So much in common, I'll say we have. <laughs> I'll have to get her a razor. <laughs> she's very affectionate. With horses, yes. God knows what she does for sex. Please, Ronnie. What? That word. What? Horses? You know what I mean. <laughs> There's no need to use words like that. What? Sex? Dear, now you're being silly. All I meant was, it's time you took things more seriously, time you settled down. Settled down? I'm mm. practically settled in concrete as it is. It's time I unsettle myself, dear. <laughs> so I'm moving. Yes, dear. I'm mm. Put the lights out. I'm going up. I've got an interview for a job tomorrow. If I get it, shh, I should be off to London. Yes, dear. And see that the back door's locked. Yes, I'm changing my job. I know I'm... you don't want to move, but I should be off to London. Unplug the television, I'm dear. off to London. Take the plug right out. Off to London! <laughs> you didn't like it last time. I did. You were glad to be back within six months. Well, it was nice to be back with you, but, I mean, my life's not here, Mother. You've got to see that. I mean, I love you. I'd like to see you happy. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Look, look, it won't... Listen, Mother, it won't work. It won't work. I've got to leave Bramley. Honestly, I have. You must see my point of view. Oh. <laughs> not tonight. Not tonight, Mother. Tomorrow. You know, I'm not... Oh. Look, you'll have time to adjust yourself. You've got lots of friends here. You'll have plenty to do. All right, forget about it now. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Oh. Oh. All right, I won't go. I promise I won't. And take the aerial out, dear. It might thunder. Good night. <laughs> Thank you for the cocoa and the sandwich. Oh, and it is cold without a vest. That's oh. my boy. Don't be too late. Good night. Oh, it's all, it's all put on. Take no notice. Take, I've got my own life to lead, haven't I? She's got me in an emotional nappy. <laughs> well, it's time for a change. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, the apron strings are definitely cut. Don't forget the back door, dear. No, I won't. I will. I'll leave it open. <laughs> <laughs> I won't unplug the television set either. <laughs> got that interview tomorrow. After the interview, <laughs> I shall be off. Even if I don't get the job, I'll be off. How would I get away for the interview, though? If the boss thinks I've gone for an interview for another job, I'll never be number two. No, Colonel Sutcliffe's not like that. Reasonable man, he wouldn't sack me for a thing like that. He would, you know. 
I know, I'll tell him I'm going to the dentist. <laughs> Interview, job, I'm free! Don't be long, dear. No, I won't. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, I'll check on that point in your policy immediately. And I'll phone you back later. Thank you. Yes, goodbye. Good morning, Keith. Morning. I do wish you'd get your hair cut. You know, Colonel Sutcliffe remarked on it again yesterday. He also said he wished you wouldn't come to the office wearing that suit. Oh, very well, Miss Brighton. I'll come without it. Yes, I'll, I'll come in the nude. Yes. I'm sure the Colonel would be mad about that. Oh, how ridiculous. Anyway, I'd get round to the barber if I were you. I say, Miss Brighton, you don't think I'll be court martialed, do I? Oh. Good morning, sir. Morning, Colonel. Didn't know we had a new girl in the office, Blyton. <laughs> I have spoken to him about it, sir. He will get it cut. Uh, I think so, too. Unhygienic, unhealthy, unmanly. Uh, Corbett not in yet? Uh, yes, sir. Well, where is he, then? Uh, he, he's in the washroom, sir. Lavatory, lavatory. Say what you mean. Washroom, long hair. Look at all that. When Corby comes back, tell him I want to see him. Yes, sir. If I find he's been out for another interview behind my back, he's for it. If he doesn't like the job, he needn't work here. Not that he does, anyway. No loyalty. Bad from the raw. Just like your hair. Carry on. Thank you. I, uh... Ah, oh, cough it. Ah. You haven't just arrived, have you? Uh, no. Been out, have you? Yes. He said you hadn't. Oh, uh, that. A bit, a bit earlier. Um, a bit earlier, I, uh, I went out. Out? Mm. Uh, on the, uh, on the train. <laughs> on the train? What train? On the train. What train? What train? What train? What train? What train? What train? No, the rain. No, the heavens. It, it, looked, it looked like rain, and, of course, in fact, as we all know, it didn't. Well, where have you been, then? I've, uh... What, are they? <laughs> um, where have you been? I've been, um, I've been, uh, Washing my hands in the toilet. Lavatory. <laughs> lavatory, lavatory. I've been, I've been washing my hands in the lavatory. Well, not in the lavatory, but... Uh... You usually wear your hat and coat to go to the lavatory? Um, uh, in a, yes, in a sense, yes. Um, uh, the cistern is leaking. Is it? Yes. <laughs> nearly took my umbrella. Uh, Blyton... Uh, I'll tell Blyton to phone the plumber. Well, will it stop now? So I'll, uh... Cancel the plumber. Carry on with your work. Good. All of you. Right. <laughs> Told him. Told him, mate. <laughs> by Je Thank you, by the way, Keith. That's all right. I don't know why we let him push us around, you know. Now, look here, mate. Push us around, push us around. Might look as though he's pushing me around, but by Jove, I'm simply manipulating him, manoeuvring him. It's... <laughs> I... <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Good day. Could I have, um... Two packets of paper clips, please. And, uh, three uh, packets of carbon paper. <laughs> well, it's only a question of hello. Oh, oh. Thank you very what much. What did you say? Indeed. I said two packets of paper clips. Oh, shut up and bring me the Evans file. Right. Have the double. I've cancelled the plumber, by the way. <laughs> I knew it. I've brought I'll the... Put it down. Morning. Morning. I, um, I was wondering, um, since things are a little bit... <laughs> if, during the morning, later on the morning, as things are... Um, is he... <laughs> Send Corbett in again, will you, Blyton? <laughs> Corbett. Yes, yes. What is this word here? Um, looks like, uh, prostitute. Yes, that's what I thought. Mm, that's what it is. According to you, Corbett, one of our clients has been suffering for the past five years from an enlarged prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, Corbett. <coughs> Would I be in error in suggesting that this should be prostate? I don't think whichever way you look at it, our firm would be keen on ensuring somebody who's been suffering for five years from an enlarged prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> this will not do, Corbett. Well, it is terribly funny. It is not no. funny. <laughs> Go. 
Yes, I was going to ask you, so I am in fact going immediately. But, um, oh dear, I've got this terrible tooth. I, I wonder if I might nip out a little bit earlier to, um, to see the uh, dentist. Ah, I got an appointment at 5.15 with Mr. Richards, and he said at 5.15 he could quit. Hmm. Good heavens. I believe I have an appointment with him at 5.15. Have you? <laughs> yes. Did I say 5.15? Yes. <laughs> no, I, I meant, um... Uh, filling. I should add me. Oh, so sorry. So sorry. Bad. Yes, very bad. <laughs> well, no, no, not really bad. I'm just mainly going in for a very quick checkup. Uh -huh. You know, I shall probably hardly be in there. Um... <laughs> Well, two minutes at mm -hmm. the most, I should think, so we'll probably miss each other entirely. 5.15? Yes. Yes, well, I'll, uh, I'll drive you around there. Well, I was going to walk, really, for the air. You know. Good idea. Good. <laughs> I'll walk around with you. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's funny him giving us the same appointment. I think I'll ring up and check. Well, I was, well, I was actually going for a, a fast checkup. you know. Well, really, hardly a checkup. you know. <laughs> but incredibly fast. And, uh, what about your tooth? My tooth? Well, my well, it, well, I mean, it has been it has been twinging, but um, he says that a routine checkup should see us all through. Yeah, that's strange. It is strange, really, but I leave it to him because he, you know. Uh huh. <laughs> all right, five ten. Five ten. Right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> I cancelled the plumber, by the way. You were <laughs> If you'd just like to take a seat, Mr. Richards won't keep you waiting too long. Goodness, I, th I think it was Friday. Oh, shut up, Corbett. Oh, Thursday, Thursday, you're right. Turn on the W.R. Sutcliffe. Uh, DSO 515. Oh, yes, 515. Uh, Corbett, C of E, 515. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I must be Thursday, 515, Corbett. No, it isn't here. Well, what about Friday? No, it isn't Friday. Oh, well, I'll be off then. We can fix you in now. That's if the Colonel doesn't mind waiting. Not at all. Do something with him. Oh, great. I have an appointment. <laughs> Excellent. If you'd just like to go in, Mr. Richards is waiting. Thank you very much. He's not there. Ah, Ronnie. Oh, he is there. Great. Excellent. <laughs> is he always like this? Yes. <laughs> Open. <laughs> ah, thank you very much. I didn't think... Wait a minute. Oh, look, yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good. Good. I knew I was all right, really. Wait a minute. Oh. A molar and two premolars. <laughs> Great. <laughs> just an inspection. <laughs> just a, just a, just a check up, you know. <laughs> you could do with a drink. I always do after the dentist. I'll meet you at the George and buy one. The George. Gosh, you look as though you need one. Next. Ah, Colonel Sutton. Oh, Mr. Corbett, would you like to make another appointment? No. <laughs> ah, I have an appointment with, um, with Mr. Sherlock. Uh, Ah, uh, oh, yes, sir. He's gone. You are a little late, but he's staying at the George, and if you're still interested, he'll be delighted to talk to you there. He'll be staying uh, in the bar till 6.30. Oh, great. The George? Yes, sir. Oh, God. Uh, you couldn't... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Look it up. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Uh, I'd like something to drink, sir. No, no, no. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't hear you, sir. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh my God. I've, I've got an appointment. I've got an appointment with, uh, with Mr. Sherlock. Pardon, sir. Sherlock, as in Holmes. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Yes, certainly. Right, sir. Sherlock Holmes, Conan Doyle. No, no. No, I have an appointment. <laughs> I have an appointment with Mr. Sherlock. 
Ah, that's the gentleman there, sir. I'll get him for No, you. no, 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 no. That's him, is it? Yes. Well, would you... My name is Corbett. <laughs> would you tell him I got his message... Yes. ...but I... but it... <laughs> I got his message... But I, I'm not myself, you must understand. <laughs> <laughs> Very strange face, sir. Yes, I, got, I got his message, but it said, in the Queen's arms. Yes, sir. No, no, you wouldn't fall for that. No, tell him I'm in the Queen's arms, but I can't move because of my... Uh, because of my mother, my boss, my teeth. Well, think of something. Tell him. Do I understand you rightly, Mr Corbett? You are here to see Mr Sherlock. Right. That's the gentleman there, sir. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. But you're in the Queen's arms. Right. Now, wait a minute. Now, when, when Colonel Sutcliffe comes in, <laughs> tell him, tell him I'm not here, but I will be here in a moment. <laughs> now, forget the first part, remember the second part, and I'll get them over there, right? I think that would be best, sir, yes. Now, wait a minute. That is Mr Sherlock there, is it? Yes, sir. Good. May we uh, go we... back to the beginning, sir? Look. My name is Corbett. Yes. I want to meet Mr Sherlock. Let there be no doubt about that now. No doubt about that. But not if you know who comes barging in at any moment. Mr Corbett. No. No. <laughs> funnily enough, funnily enough, we were just having a little chat about him. Uh, apparently he's, um, he's, uh, I'm, uh, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> Are you Mr Corbett? Yes. Uh, Malcolm Sherlock. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ronnie, Ronald. Oh. Uh, trouble with your teeth? Well, just a little, uh, fast check-up I had. Uh, I must get rid of these. I'm sorry, I... Uh, 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 you tell me only to keep them in for the twinkling of an eye, really. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't manage to see you earlier on, but uh, I had this appointment with um, a dentist, a uh, vis a -vis, uh, routine checkup, ah. and uh, so here we are. Yes, well, that's all right. This yes. is rather better than the office, anyway. Yes, indeed. Now, what will you have to drink? Well, why don't we pop over to the Queen's Arms? Because this place is really a bit of a flea pit, isn't it? I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Queen's Arms is a flea pit, um, but, and, and, and indeed a very interesting one. <laughs> have you been in Bramley long? No, just the day. Oh, yes. And what will you have? Um, I'll have a, la a small a bra a brandy, I think. There's two large brandies, please. Yes, Perhaps it would be better if we hid, sorry, if we, um, <laughs> if, if we sat down over there, shall we? Yes, very well. Actually, Mr. Corbett, I... <laughs> Mr. Corbett! Oh. Thank you. Park, please. <coughs> well, now, perhaps we can get down to business. I shall have to be leaving soon. Oh, fine, fine. Uh, this is my application form. Correctly filled up, I hope, mm. with my history, education and that sort of thing. <laughs> the Corbett saga. Yes, oh, <laughs> thank you. Yes, well, that uh, seems to answer most of my questions, actually. Uh, do you have a reference from your present employer? No, not at this moment in time, no. <laughs> Why exactly do you want to change your job? Well, um, the town, really. Bramley, I really... Must be honest with you, I find it terribly boring and small-minded and petty, you know, there's nothing ever happens there. I much prefer living in London. You show me a Bramley man and I'll show you a dull, unimaginative clod. I was born here. <laughs> Well, there are exceptions, of course, <laughs> but they get out. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, no, it's mainly, I'm, it's mainly the firm, really, when one thinks of it. The firm is so badly run, the methods are outmoded. I mean, the idiot who runs it thinks he's running a barracks. <laughs> Quite frankly, I wouldn't do any business with a firm of that sort. Really? Yes, we have a large account with them. Well, they have their good points, of course. <laughs> They're terribly reliable. I probably put that rather badly. I might have put it very badly. I... No, it's mainly the town that gets me down. The, the rest was all sort of rather light-hearted joking. <laughs> so I'm not going to get the job. No, you're not. I... Well... <laughs> Excellent. Well, I like to meet someone who is outspoken and direct. Sir. No, not sir. Malk. Mal. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Did you have gas today? Oh, this is Keith. Sorry, Keith. Uh, this is uh, Malloc. Malloc Shelcombe. Uh, uh, he's trying to sell me a car, but I want no part of it. <laughs> this is my younger brother. Oh. Now, what about a little drink for us all? Fine. Good. <laughs> Listen, what sort of car was it? Are you which? Well, I mean, I'm looking for a car. You might have something worth looking at. Have you got a, a garage, aren't you? I'm afraid I don't quite understand what's going on. Is your brother ill? Oh, you mean my sister? <laughs> <laughs> oh, him, the nutcase. Is his name really Conan Doyle? Conan Doyle? He kept saying he wasn't here. Is he, uh, under treatment? Oh, you mean his teeth? Teeth? Uh, 
Could I have um, three large brandies, please? Three ah, large brandies, Corbett. sir. No, no, I'm afraid he's gone. <laughs> that is you, Corbett. Sorry, who? Corbett? Oh, Corbett. Oh, it is Corbett. I'm sorry. I didn't get the question. <laughs> Excellent. You with someone? Uh, no. No, these are... <laughs> these are chasers. And... <laughs> And that is yours. Huh. <laughs> Excellent. Cheers. Cheers. That young Newell over there? No, I don't think so. No. Yes, it is. Let's go over. Look, I was, I was wondering if we might pop to the Queen's Arms. It's a good deal more, more attractive than this ponced up doss house. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now, look here. Any more of this, and I'll not serve you, sir. Yes, sir. That is Newell. Come along. Let's... Oh, oh, oh the, the, uh, the other fellow with him is, is, in fact, an uncle of mine from Australia. Now, he's got a bit of a thing about insurance, so I'd rather you didn't mention it, if you don't mind. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is uh, Gerald Sutcliffe. This is uh, Malloch Shellcombe. <laughs> he's a priest. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> uh, would you, uh... Would you all... Would you all like a drink? I thought you had gone to get some. Quite. Great. Excellent. <laughs> Sit down there, sir. <coughs> 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 Yeah, it's nice to meet you, Father. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't know you knew him. Uh, are you on Ronnie's mother's side or on his father's? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know he had relatives down under. Yes, I'm afraid I don't quite understand. Um, Ronnie's brother here was saying... His brother? <laughs> Are you a Catholic? Yes, I am. Ah. Actually, yes. You don't have to wear the collar all the time, then. <laughs> What's that imbecile been telling you? You're not a priest, then. I'm his employer. <laughs> Are you? He's been saying some pretty terrible things about your firm. Has he? <laughs> well, we've all had a lovely chat. <laughs> why, why don't we all pop over to the Queen's Arms now, get out of this dump? The Queen's Arms are a good deal... <laughs> good deal more attractive than this toilet. Lavatory! <laughs> lavatory! Lavatory! That's it! Fred! Look, I'm not serving you any more, you've been so... Uh, listen, I think I'll see him home. Do, and don't bring him back in. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, look here, you stuffy old thing. What? Colonel? In the catering corps, no doubt. As for you, why you do business with them, I shall never know. Ask him nicely, he'll make you a lovely omelette. Oh, oh fiends hell! <laughs> <laughs> what was all that about? <sighs> mm. I put the kettle on. Did you go for that interview? No. Oh, I'll make some lovely sandwiches. Dizzy day? No. I'll make the sandwiches. Mm. Would you like cheese and pickle again? Mm. Oh, no, no, have some cucumber. Mm. <laughs> Bloody hell! Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tweet. Oh, dear. <laughs> Thank you.